And now, a brief history of Lyme disease. Lyme disease has been known to exist in Europe since the early 20th century. In 1975, across three cities in Connecticut, Old Lyme, Lyme, and East Haddam, there was a strange outbreak of rheumatoid arthritis. No one could explain this cluster of illness which spread across 39 children and 12 adults. Yale sent investigators to the area to see if they could determine the cause. While interviewing the patients, the investigators found something interesting. In 25% of those affected, a bullseye's rash, erythema, migraines, had preceded the arthritis. The investigators tied this to a similar condition found in Europe, which was associated with ticks and believed to be caused by a bacteria. In 1976, another 30 patients were identified and surveyed. The trend of a rash preceding the arthritis continued and confirmed their connection between the preceding rash and the onset of additional symptoms. It was theorized that after the tick bit its host, the bacteria would be transferred to the host and develop into an infection. This infection then would lead to the symptoms they were seeing. However, it wasn't until 1981 when Willy Bergdorfer discovered the bacteria which causes Lyme disease. It is a spirochete, which is a bacteria identified by its distinctive corkscrew shape. Other spirochetes include syphilis, dysentery, leptospirosis, and tick-borne relapsing fever. The bacteria associated with Lyme was then named Borrelia burgdorferi after the man who discovered it. Lyme borreliosis actually has three genotypes which predominantly exist in different parts of the world. Our focus today, however, is on Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the predominant genotype in the United States and most commonly associated with Lyme disease.